Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumen Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And this video is to speak to you about my webinar series. Now, I started making some webinars in June of last year. And uh, during the holidays, I had so much material that I gathered and I presented it in January. Well, Mercury retrograde hit. I had uh, to re record it twice. I had technical difficulties with the sound. And uh, I actually had to buy a new piece of equipment. So here I am to talk about my webinar because I feel it's very good material. It's very timely. It's very pertinent for what's going on for people right now. And it addresses a lot of the concerns that people have about their union. It, they are also for people whether or not you're physically in union with your twin, meaning you don't have to be living with your twin. You can be interacting with your twin. You can be uh, corresponding with them long distance. You may not even know who they are, meaning you haven't met them in person, but you are meeting them in an etheric level or in your dreams. Okay, and this is for twin flames and divine counterparts. Now, there is a lot of information on the internet. Uh, uh, just to clarify, a lot of my information, a lot of what I'm presenting does have to do with the physicality of it. And while I do address uh, things like mental, emotional, I do address things of past lives, behind the scenes, what's the backstory. I talk a lot about the new. And that is the real key here. You're here to be new. Uh, the opportunity being presented on this planet, and Earth is, for some people, it's pretty much ground zero like a giant hospital to get yourself healed, get rid of all of your karma, get rid of any of the drama, the baggage, uh, drop it off here. Gather to yourself all of the things necessary to be in full union and get on your way. How do you get on your way? And uh, I address a lot of that within my webinars. So right now there's about six. I actually have two more that I'm uh, working on that are going to talk about some other things that are coming up. And uh, right now, the one that I had in January, Mercury retrograde even got me. So I've, uh, what I've done is I've split the material in half. I split the price in half. And the material is being presented in two parts. So it's up to you which part you want to buy. But uh, for those people who've already purchased my webinar, I thank you very much. I am going to gift this to you. For those people who are interested and you want to make an investment in yourself, please know that the investment is in the physical part of you. There's codes of love in this. So there are things that uh, will be here and be useful for you, even if it's a reminder, even if it sparks up something within you that you know in your heart about your union, and you just need that little boost. But for a lot of you, this is actually intended as a primer to get you going, help you get on your way, whether you're solo, whether you are by yourself, whether you are together, whether you're uh, living together and trying to make it work. And please know that when it is your true beloved, um, they are so much worth the effort. You have to give each other chance after chance after chance. So let me talk about the topics I'm going to cover. In part one, I do talk in more depth about the uh, subtle bodies. These are your five inner bodies. And that's the part that a lot of people are in right now. So you have different waves of people. That are, there are people just waking up. There are people that have uh, started to meld themselves together with their beloved. And there's, there's a lot of people in between. There's a lot of people who have not known what's going on. And there's a thing to know here, or a thing to know in your heart. The universe wants you to get good at some of this stuff. The universe wants you to strengthen your heart connections with your beloved. So some of a lot of what I talk about in here is how do you do that? How, how? How does one do that? Despite the best of intentions, people are uh, having a struggle. 
And whether it's me or whether you receive some help for someone else, make sure that, that you decide that you're worth the investment. Uh, you're actually investing in your internal soul. Doesn't have to be with me, but I think the price on this webinar is actually uh, pretty fair. So I talk about the five subtle bodies within, let you know what those are, and a large part of it right now is addressing the mental and emotional. I talk about that. So I talk within part one how to clear and heal any 3D sexual damage. And that could be recent damage. And by damage, I do mean interactions with anybody but your beloved. And it can be in the worst way possible, or it can be the best of intentions through a marriage. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're continuing on with certain things, there are things that could hurt your union. So how do you clear that? That's what I talk about. I also talk about connecting with your beloved and connecting with your higher state of being. That's one of the real keys is um, how do you hold your love bubble on a daily basis? Not just when your twin shows up. How do you hold it on a daily basis? So I talk about that. What I do have in both of them is uh, I include the link for videos on how to talk in your own sacred sexual energies and also how to um, internally, you know, press your energies with your beloved in. So I have uh, support for this webinar. Now in part two, that is where I talk about what's happening with the mental and emotional parts of you along with the psyche and the ego because uh, for almost everyone there's some damage there. It's as mild as uh, mental perceptions or OCD, ADHD, all the way to the extreme. Things like bipolar, schizophrenia. What's happening with that? So I talk about that. Also how to manage your emotional state while you're transitioning. I talk about how do you divide your day su to support your union so that you can uh, very much more easily hold your bubble of love? And when you're staying in union, what is the effect that soulmates have on you? And lastly, in part two, I talk about, uh, I walk you through how do you conclude your universal karma? Because you're at that point. We ended the karma in August of 2014, and a lot of people are still feeling stuck. How do you get unstuck? You have to conclude your own karma. Only you can do it. You're at the point where this is a soul level thing. This is a soul thing. So having someone else come in to uh, do certain things, be judicious about that because uh, you don't want to disempower yourself. You want to own the power that you have for your own union. This gives you some of the how-to, how-to, and um, I don't uh, mean to say that other people cannot be of assistance. Obviously, I'm trying to be of assistance to some people, but it is going to be a process over the next year of weaning yourself off of all kinds of things and uh, owning your own power and expressing the love you are here. So that's what the goal is in, in mind for this, is for you to be who you came here to be. Believe it with all your heart that you are going to become who you came here to be. You didn't come here to get dropped on your butt. I'm not receiving this information so that people can just fall apart. This is intended with uh, the, the highest and best intentions for your well-being for your continued health, but it goes beyond health. Your divine counterpart or your twin flame is your ticket to the fifth dimension. So that being said, find out how to connect and hold it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. And the uh, links for it will be posted both on my website. My website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. And the links will be below in the description section of this video. Thank you again. Have a lovely day.